most people clock out and go home and watch TV and have dinner and pet their dogs. And I don't do any of that. Like everyone has their American dream, just mine's a little different. I started out with custom cars and lowriders. Then I, I picked up a little, a little bike. We rode around a little bit. And we didn't know what we were doing, so I took it to this local shop, and it was, it was dark. Like you walked in, and it was dark and unwelcoming, and you know, nefarious types hanging around. But that was like the first like choppers I seen. Like those, you know, long front ends. And, you know, but I mean, I was still, I was still at that point, probably yeah, 16, 17, and I was saved all my money. And back then, like. Pan heads, shovel heads, like no one wanted that. Like they were cheap. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should get one. The nature of the cop shopper is you could design it to sit how you want, to feel how you want, to ride how you want, you know. Nothing is set in stone. And like that's the kind of the fun of a chopper is there's no instructions or blueprints or this has to go here. It's part of you. It's this whole being one with the bike and the bike being one with the road and all that's good. We came up with this idea. <laughs> nothing serious, nothing heavy. I don't think anyone knew that what was gonna come. It's definitely, yeah, lifestyle, and just friends getting together, helping each other build bikes. And of the original crew, we had kind of someone from every craft. So we were able to put bikes together cheaper than everyone else. Everyone would either be hand chosen by me from spending time with me or someone that I trusted that got in that way, then they would vouch for them. So it's, it's something magic has happened here. Dudes enjoy being here. They want to be part of it. And this is our support system. I'm like, I mean, there's no way I could have got through the stuff that I've been through without my brothers and we, are all there for each other. It may not seem like they're being nice about it by making fun of you and punching you in the nuts, but sometimes that's what you need to get out of that hole. And I know that I'll never fail too much as long as these guys are around.